Hey guys, what's up? I think that the reason that modern fantasy has gotten so good lately is because of the special effects. And I also think that this is why it became more popular and easier to make. Because back in the 80s and the 70s and those movies and stuff like that, even in the 90s, they used a lot of practical effects, costumes, makeup, um, things that, little models that they blew up and things like that. You know, and those things were really expensive. They were hard to do. The little figures, you had to move them around a little bit. They took forever to film. And you could see like some of the old like fantasy and sci-fi movies back then. They were kind of like, the special effects were bad. You know, they weren't good at all. It was very, very hard to have very good special effects. But I think with modern movies, you get more good special effects because of CGI, computer generated special effects and things like that. They can do a lot more with less money and it's only like basically up to the talent of the artist that's going to make those effects um, and their ability to work with that kind of like that computer software. You know, and the thing is that anybody now can make special effects and it doesn't take a whole special effects company to do it. Um, and I think really that's really why fantasy got really, really popular because the more they can do, like, the more they can do with special effects, the cooler the movie looks. And the cooler the movie looks, the more people are attracted to that movie. And I'm thinking that, like, the reason not a lot, I mean, there were some, a lot of people, of course, were into special effects and, and fantasy movies and fantasy stuff back in the 70s and 80s, you know, in the 90s and whatever. But the thing about that is that, the bad, you know, a lot of the special effects were really bad. And you can't blame people for thinking the movies were silly. <laughs> they weren't. A lot of them were good. There were some silly movies, right? But, so, but that, there was a lot of good movies also with decent special effects, with good ones. Like even something like The Terminator had good special effects. You know, it, it, was, it was all practical, but it was decent. It wasn't too bad, you know? At the same time, that movie, The Terminator, started coming out when CGI just started coming out. And like the first movie that ever came out with CGI is... Um, the Last Starfighter, which really the CGI didn't look that good. Back then, in the 80s, the CGI, the, the things that they could do with the computer were like less than the things they could do with practical special effects, costumes, things like that. But if you look at some movies back then, they were really good. The special effects were awesome. If you look at a movie like American Werewolf in London, that is the coolest werewolf in that movie from any movie even to this day, any werewolf in any movie, I really think that the the transformation scene where the guy turns into the werewolf when the moon comes out and the actual werewolf itself and how that looked was the coolest looking transformation and the coolest looking werewolf to this day. I'm still like kind of disappointed when I see modern werewolf movies, you know, it's just like, it's not as good. And so, and so, you know, that's the thing. Even back then, some stuff was really good, but it was expensive, it was hard to do, and people that were doing special effects were like, they really knew, needed to know what they were doing, you know? But now, the stuff that you can do with special effects is amazing, and so every movie that comes out now has special effects in it. You know, back then, there might be, you know, they might have to, have to actually take cars and blow them up, and now they just take, you know, just the uh, special effects of cars blowing them up. It's a lot cheaper, it's a lot cooler, and you can really do what's in your imagination. You can really kind of think it up because practical special effects, you can only do what they can do. You know, you could say to the practical special effects guys, you could, you could say like, hey, you know, do this for us. You know, you want the spaceship to fly through the air and then blow up and shoot this other spaceship, you know, whatever it is. And the special effects people are gonna say something like, the practical effects people are gonna, well, you know what? It's going to be, take a long time and it's expensive and we can't do exactly what you want. We can do something like it, but we can't do exactly that because it's not possible with what we have on hand, you know, and then the, now they can't do it. You know, even like if you look at some of the special effects from the big movies like Dune, um, David Lynch's Dune from the 80s, they had amazing, they had like great, like these sets were really cool. There were like these throne rooms and you know, the room of the galactic emperors and then they had like the caves where the Fremen lived and something like that but you couldn't get a lot of great special effects there you had the worms and the worms were just like they were supposed to be just big worms they weren't really that fancy you know uh dragons back then were not that fancy that movie was not like it was nice and they spent like 10 million dollars on the special on the uh, on the like the the environmental the environment and everything like that you know they spent a lot of money on it 
But the stuff they can do now is just like with a with some software and a computer and a good artist that knows how you know, how to like work with that software and is creative and imaginative and is a good artist, you know, they can pretty much do it. They can pretty much put great special effects in anything. I really do think that the better the special effects, the better the movies going to are, are going to be because a lot of the what's good about the movies nowadays are the special effects, are the spaceships blowing up and all the different fantasy elements in it, you know, the, the wizards doing their magic and stuff like that, like Lord of the Rings, all that, all the magic and people like shooting fire from their like fingers, things like that. That's really cool. I mean, that's really cool. And they did it really, really well. And it looks convincing. So when you go back to the 80s and 70s and 90s, you know, you could kind of like understand why people didn't really, weren't really in, like some people were not really into fantasy movies or fantasy stuff because the special effects were lame, a lot of them. Not all of them, some of them were great, but some of them had these like silly special effects with these like really bad costumes, really bad makeup, bad special effects. If you go back there then to the movies that were coming out, a lot of them were really bad because the special effects were horrible. You know, and, and they could pull off the movie. If they did the rest of the movie really, really well, they could pull it off. But then it was obvious that like they used models and they used like mannequins and they used all kinds of fake stuff. And it wasn't, it didn't come out as great. I mean, some movies, they, they knew what they were doing. Some movies, they can only do what they can do. Like, even the Star Wars movies. Yes, the, the, the first three Star Wars movies were a lot better than the ones that are coming out now. But the special effects of the movies that are coming out now, the Star Wars movies, are completely better than the first three movies. Even though that's not, like, the reason that, um, you know, you would see that movie. That's not the reason why. That, that still doesn't make the movie better, right? The first three movies were, were better than anything they have now with Star Wars. But, you know, but the thing is that the special effects they have now is just so much better. And they could do so much more with it. And I think what they could do also is you could put more fantasy. It's more of a, like, you know, like you could just do more with movies. And like, if you wanted to take a book and make that book, the story in that book into a movie or something like that, you could do it. You could pretty much do anything that's in a book it's written, it's described, you can do anything in, in a book in real time special, special effects. Conan the Barbarian was a great movie, um, but, but I mean, there weren't that many special effects. There was like, yeah, there was environments, there were people with swords. Um, the snake, like the snake that he fought in the movie in the tower, um, basically they, they had to actually construct a snake. And the snake looked all right, it looked, all right. It looked pretty cool, but you know, nowadays you can really have a really, really cool looking snake or even something, a creature that's more good looking than a snake. Even if you look at the first, like the older um, Clash of the Titans movie, and then they had another one which had better special effects, but it was a worse movie. You know, if you look at the Clash of the Titans movies, you could see like they used so many, they were very, very heavy and practical effects. And uh, Roy Harryhausen did those effects and they did those effects in a lot of different movies. But in that movie, there was a lot of different special effects. There were like the monsters, the Medusa, and it looked cool because it was done by people that knew what they were doing. But then if you look at some other movies that came out back then, not so cool, like not, not that great. You know, the stuff they can do now is just so much more than anything in the older movies. And so what I'm thinking about like, you know, the movies that are gonna come out now, and the reason people are into it is because the movies just look a lot cooler. Even the guy that did um, Avatar, the Avatar, the movie, th that, that like, he had to create his own, like, he really, he like basically invented his own camera or something like that that I heard, his own way of filming, because what he wanted to do was impossible to do with the present technology at the time. You know, but it had really cool special effects. You couldn't do that um, practically, you couldn't do that just, you know, and that was like over 10 years ago, you know, that was, that was a while ago. And you couldn't do that in the, in the eighties and nineties. You couldn't have that world where people are like stepping on forest floors and it's lighting up blue and stuff like that. You know, you just couldn't do it. And I think what's cool about it, it gets, it allows the, the fantasy artist to basically to, to communicate their imagination, to really... Uh, express their imagination and what they want things to look like. And you could do things that you want it to look exactly how you want it to look like. I think the communication between the artist, the creator, the fantasy creator, and the audience 
is a lot more because the creator can just do more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, yeah, yeah, may, maybe it's it's all computer generated, whatever, but you can do so much more. You can kind of communicate so much more than if you used like, you know, practical effects. We had to build models and it took a long time and it was expensive. So the just the bar of entry to the point where in the future, like, you know, in another 10 years, the software that's doing special effects, like any, like even now people can do special effects. If you just like buy the software, install it on your computer and learn how to do it, you can pretty much put do special effects on your own computer at home. And in about 10 years, it's gonna be like so easy to do that. Like anyone's going to like buy the Adobe suite special effects software or something like that and be able to do anything they want like anything they want in their own movie, create their own special effects. Um, and even like, you know, and, and even like things that, you know, if, when you look at something like uh, Comic-Cons or something like that, and a lot of cosplay, the cosplay is basically done by people dressing up in costumes that are from these movies, these manga, um, these anime, right? But a lot of it is from movies. And, you know, they're dressing up because they love this movie. They love these movies. And if you look at, like, even Netflix, like, most of the movies right now on Netflix have special effects. Most, you know, most of the movies on Netflix are, like, they have some fantasy elements in it. And even if it's just not even a fantasy movie, even if it's just, like, a, a movie where there's just a lot of, like, guns and shooting and action and whatever, like, martial arts or whatever it is, and there's fighting and things like that, and there's some kind of, like, stealth and whatever you are sneaking around, you know, they're still using special effects because they can do just so much more, like, instead of having to, like, go and find a mountain that, you know, or a certain forest or a certain backdrop that they want to, like, film in front of, they can just, like, create that backdrop, create whatever they want in a movie. And I think movies are going to the point where, you know, you can pretty much, and even they have movies now that are all 100% computer generated which is the newest thing. It's like, yeah, we had cartoons and now we have movies. And now what, what's coming out is just computer generated films, you know, computer generated movies that um, are just like the next generation of this kind of technology, you know? So, you know, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, check out my other videos if you want. And I will see you guys in another video later.